We're now in the city centre, heading towards the large crossroads by the central police station. On the driving test, then we get it to go right here. As you approach the crossroads, you should be able to see five lanes. There's one lane for cars wishing to turn left. There's two lanes for cars going straight ahead. There's also two lanes for people that wish to turn right. So we need to be using one of these right hand lanes. I normally advise people here to approach in the left lane of these two lanes. Because we approach the crossroads in the left hand lane, when we complete the turn, it's very important we stay on that left hand lane as you go around the corner. So we need to steer quite late when you do the turn. You try and keep fairly close to the curb on the left hand side. Make sure you don't get too close to cars that could be alongside you in the right hand lane. As you complete the turn and enter the new road, you'll probably notice the road becomes three lanes wide. There's an extra lane on our left hand side. If you've got three lanes, we always use left hand lane for normal driving, except if you're overtaking. So if that lane's clear, we move into the left hand lane. If you were to stand in the middle of the lane without overtaking any other vehicles, you could fail for being in the wrong position. Very important we keep our speed below 30 miles an hour until you pass the sign here that tells us it's 40. We're going to look at the same junction again. Um, once again, we're going, going to be turning right. This time we're going to be using the far right hand lane on the approach, which is sometimes a little bit more complicated. So this time we're going to turn right from the far right hand lane. Because we're approaching the crossroads in the right hand lane, it's really important that when we get around the corner, you stay on that right hand lane. So steer quite early, keeping yourself close to the curb on the right hand side. Once you get around the corner, we then need to put our car in the correct driving position, which is normally going to be the left hand lane. So when it's safe, we're going to move across into the far left hand lane. It's best to change one lane at a time before each lane change. Make sure you do your mirrors and signals. And as before, as you drive along this road, stay below 30 miles an hour until we pass the sign which tells us the road has changed to a 40 mile an hour zone.